How's it going, everybody? Thanks for checking out Exile State Comics. This is a new comic book day haul for September 28th. Yeah, I think that's what today is. Uh, so, of course, it is new comic book day. Picked up all my new books. Oh, a lot of DC Rebirth stuff going on. A couple new ones. Maybe one new one? I don't know. Some image and some Marvel and something else thrown in. Um, but uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks for, for subscribing. Definitely check us out on Thursday nights on Strictly Comics. There'll be a link in the description below. We do a live show on there. Um, I think we're going to have a guest on this week. Could be wrong. But all you know, talking all things comics, uh, it's always a good time. And then I think starting back next week or the week after, we'll be back on, on Tuesday nights on JLS Comics. Also, a link in the description below. And definitely check out comicbook.com. Always putting up great articles over there. Uh, and every Monday, I put up the new comics list so you can see what's coming out that Wednesday. So, all right. And as always, uh, what we'll do here is I'll go through the books and then I'll go over the comments from last week's haul video. So make sure you leave a comment this week and I'll go over it next week. That's how simple it is. Uh, first thing I picked up, or didn't pick up, but got for free, is a cool comic shop news with the uh, Justice League versus Suicide Squad. And it's kind of cool here because I know most everybody's seen this, but. I just noticed Harley is wearing Green Lantern's ring up there by Batman's head. Batman's got Katana Sword. He's got Deadshot's eye thing. And Harley's also got Wonder Woman's tiara and her whip. So, really kind of cool. Interested to see what what uh, would be happening in that story, you know, and how that's going to go. So, way to go, DC. You're going to probably make me buy a couple issues of that event. See how it goes. All right, so we'll first just kind of go into DC this week, uh, as I normally do. Uh, and this is Detective Comics number 941. Yeah, got that one. Part 3 of the Monster Men. Now, if you didn't read last week's, or two weeks ago, Detective Comics, you really need to pick that one up. 940 was a great book. Definitely worth the price and seeing what's going on here. Everybody's being taken over. I'm trying to find something to read. We got spoiler and orphan going on, fighting some people that have been kind of taken over. It appears. It appears. All right. So I picked up a number one this week, and this is Batman Beyond Rebirth, issue number one. Uh, just kind of excited to see where this one's going to go. See, I think Terry McGinnis is going to be back. Um, I hope. Yeah. This looks pretty good. I'll show you this part if I can get back to it. Sorry. Our opening panel here it looks really, really cool. So I always liked Batman Beyond. I thought it was, you know, a really cool concept, especially when it first came out. Um, so we'll see how this book goes. I didn't really like the whole Future's End thing or Eternal, whatever, with Tim Drake, Future Tim Drake becoming Batman Beyond. I didn't dig that too much. Eh. Eh. What was your? No, that was not a good plan. All right, next. Flash issue number seven got Godspeed on the corner or on the cover here with Flash. You know, tag you're dead. Tag you're dead. This book always has so much going on in it, and the art's so good, just kind of flowing along. So, still enjoying the Flash. Um, all right, so this book may be up on my shopping block. I've made it to issue five. This is Hal Jordan, the Green Lantern Corps, issue number five. Got um, John Stewart on there. No, Lanterns light it up. Light them up. So, we'll see. Ooh, that'll look good. A shot of Hal. Very cool. Very cool. So, but, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna kind of see how it goes with that one. Um, I'm not overly connected to the Green Lanterns. But it has been, like, it started off very, very strong, I thought. So, Alright, next is Titans, issue number three. Great cover here. Loving this, of course. Brett Booth doing the artwork. Dan Abnett's doing the writing. So, always great looking stuff. In my opinion. What's the title here? Uh, the Return of Wally West Part 3. Face to face. Okay. And then the last DC book I picked up this week. Bleh, DC book. That I picked up this week is, of course, Superman Action Comics. Issue 964. Getting up there. I thought this was a really cool cover. I think this is the second cover. Yeah. But I liked it. I thought it was cool. Um, so we'll see where this story goes now. With the last issue kind of focusing on Clark. 
Now we got Clark and Superman up in the fortress. So, face to face. If I can show it to you properly. Uh, whatever. All right, so that's all the DC books I picked up this week. All right, I picked up a number one from Benitez Productions. That's Joe Benitez, if you know his art. He used to work for Image also. This is Lady Mechanica, and this is a new three-issue miniseries. It's uh, La Dama de la Merte. I don't know if I pronounced that right. But we'll see where this one goes. Lady, Comanica, Lady Mechanica is always a you know, great art. It's kind of steampunkish you want to say but definitely a fun read um, wow I feel like there's been like three or four different like series of this book come out so far so definitely worth you know worth picking up of course from image this week we had saga issue 38 come out and I know I think we're gonna get to this uh, maybe in a different haul but maybe in a different comment section but I know some people are kind of getting a little little burnout on on this story and I'm kind of with you. I'm almost to the point where I just want to stop and start reading it and trade. I may do that do that at around like 40. Um, kind of stop and then just wait for trades at that point. So we'll kind of see. We'll see how this issue goes. I could show you something, huh? Because that's what I've done with all the other books. Somehow, some way. Good stuff. Good stuff in Saga always. All right. The other book I picked up from Image this week is Lake of Fire, issue number two. This is, you know, aliens back in the time of the Crusades. So, awesome stuff as always. We got somebody being burned to a stake. She must be a witch! Oh, and there's monsters now. Oh, good gosh. Well, that, no wonder. I hope y'all saw that too. But so that is uh, Lake of Fire, issue number two out of Image. If you like ancient aliens on the History Channel or anything like that, you probably really like this book. From Marvel this week, I got a free Marvel preview uh, book. It's like number one now, Shattered. One side is Doctor Strange and the Sorcerer Supreme, and the other side is the Clone Conspiracy. Jessica Jones and the Champions. So it looks like I'm getting previews of the Clone Conspiracy, which, wow, that looks great. Who is doing the art on the Clone Conspiracy? Jim Chung? John Dell and Justin Ponzer? But wow, this first issue. That looked pretty good. Uh, Champions. We all know what that is. But this art didn't look that bad, really. If the art in all the Champions looks like that, I'll, I might get it. Um, infamous, infamous Iron Man, which is going to be pretty cool because it's like emerging some sorts of uh, Tony Strand or Tony Stark and uh, Doctor Doom, right? So we got the Great Lakes Avengers. I don't know why they're bringing those back, just to do it, I guess. Because that team, man. Uh, Solo, the One Man War on Terror. Oh wow! I think I picked up a book not long ago, an Amazing Spider-Man with Solo. Uh, Gwenpool. Jessica Jones, Cage, new Luke Cage book that looks horrible. Hellcat's getting another number one. Uh, Mosaic, Hero with a Thousand Faces. Some Mosaic. Uh, what else? We got Uncanny Avengers 15. I don't know why that's going rogue starts now. All right. Whatever. Uh, Sam Wilson, number 14. Deadpool, another number one. Works for money, number... I don't know. Doctor Strange, 12. Oh, that's cool. I was like, is that Hawkeye with the coat? No, no, no. That's Doctor Strange. And then... Black Panther, 7. So all this stuff is just kind of starting in, 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 out of nowhere. Of course, we got um, Black Widow, number seven, No More Secrets. Of course we do. Oof. And what else? Uncanny and Humans. Don't care. So, all right, a whole bunch of stuff coming out from Marvel soon. 
when they do this all new Marvel now point one seven four two well, I don't even know. All right, like a ninth go about it. <clears throat> huh. All right, extraordinary X Men issue number fourteen. Still on this book is my only single solitary X Men book. But you know, got to read X Men, right? Ooh, apocalypse. Ooh, apocalypse. Uh, next, I picked up Captain Marvel, issue number nine. Uh, of course, there's a tie into Civil War two, which I'm tired of, and I'm over. I'm gonna get some mutants going on. And then, lastly, uh, probably my favorite book that's still going on over at Marvel, other than Daredevil, is uh, Ultimates, issue number eleven. This one looks really cool. As always, um, Al Ewing's doing a great job on this book. So this would be like my, other than Daredevil, like I keep saying, that's just because Daredevil is my favorite character. Um, I think my favorite book over at Marvel is Ultimates, followed by Thor. I like I like the, what's going on with Thor. I'm really excited for the un, unworthy Thor that's coming out also. So all right, that's all the books for this week. It seemed like a lot, so I apologize for that. So now let's go over the comments from last week's haul. Uh, we got. Oh, let's see. Where are we at here? If I can pull them up properly. All right, we got Jack Yo. What is up, Jack Yo? How you doing? Said, uh, 7 to seven two Eternity was worth the four smackers on art alone. You basically get Remender for free. Uh, same could be said about the art and revolution number one. Okay. Well, all right. He said, he goes on to say, I recommend uh, revolution number one, but I'm, I'm a kid of the 80s, and my DNA probably makes me uh, like it no matter what. All right, I'm with you. I can I can understand that. I want to pick up the mask part. Um, and he says, still, I'm all on with the IDW Hasbro universe. Um, I read around 12 to 15 Marvel titles and about 20 indie titles. Holy junk! Dark Knight three and a couple of Hanna Barbera books to ask you. You asked. Oh wow. Yeah, I did. Thanks for reading my comments later. Wow, man. So like 15, uh, 12 to 15 Marvel books. I'm kind of in that same boat if I'm doing like three to four a week um, and 20 indie titles. I'm way under that, but trying to get there. I'm not counting like digitals, so maybe I'm I'm definitely over, I don't know, I'm probably around like 15 or so too. Seems like I'm kind of tied with that with Marvel. I'm just reading a lot more DC right now. But thanks for leaving the comment, Jack Yo. Look forward to seeing you in the comments on the live show, man. Next we got Holger Peterson. He said, my highlights from last week's comics were Uncanny and Humans issue number 13. All right, Civil War Two, Gods of War number four. Yep, Detective Comics nine forty, great issue. Like I said earlier, um, and Suicide Squad number two. I don't think I. Yes, I did pick that up. I did not read it yet. Also bought and trade number five and number six from DC's fifty two series from twenty set from two thousand seven. Okay, yeah, I got you. I got you. That's really cool. Um, how many trades are there of that? Because there was fifty two issues, right? Um, which I had not got yet. Truly great series, I can really recommend. All right, truly great series, I can really. All right, well, I really appreciate that. Thanks a lot, Holger Peterson, for letting us know what you're up to, man. What you're liking, really appreciate it. All right, Comic Quarter, what is up, Comic Quarter? How is it going? Thanks for leaving a comment. He says, uh, enjoyed your haul video as usual. Just threw you a sub. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. We're inching closer to 250. Like I said, when I get there, probably gonna do a giveaway and video and stuff. It's gonna be fun. Uh, I'm really enjoying Rebirth, Action, Batman, Detective, and Superman. Yep. Uh, the double cover art uh, for each issue is starting to make me mad, though. Yeah, I'm with you. But, this, yeah, if they just gave you one, then you would only get one. Um, I do find, though, that I'm getting made, you know, like today I got one of the regulars and I got the second ish, the second cover for one of the other books. So, you know, for some of them it's okay. I can, I can see the four main titles doing it five main titles maybe but i don't see every book needing it so and i don't think they're going to continue that i hope not Iculus, what is up Iculus? thanks for commenting man he said the mass like jim carrey the mass like mobile armor strike command mobile armor strike command yeah mask with the dots <laughs> uh much more interesting in in the interested in the later yes cool cartoon that most don't remember i remember man i still have the like the truck that folds up, and I have the bike 
with the side things and the wings. Yes, I still have those somewhere in a box. So I'm with you. That's what we're talking about. Not talking about the gym mask carry that character. I don't think there's been a mask book out in a while. I could be wrong. I just haven't looked for one. But thanks, thanks a lot for commenting. All right, um, life in the dark. What is up? Thanks for commenting. I think it's the first time I've seen you comment. It's a nice haul. I appreciate it. All right. Jawline Cinema said, Hey, man, my comic book is out. You check it out. Sure. Let's check it out. And Orso Crew, what's up, man? Appreciate you uh, commenting here. He said, I agree with what you said about being into comics makes you somewhat of an, of an exile. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, watching the movies is one thing, but when you tell people you read comics, they kind of give you that funny look. At least that has been my experience. Yeah, and it will be. They're like, what are you doing reading comics? <clears throat> but if they're your friends and stuff like that, or somebody that you actually know, then it's pretty easy to gauge what you could like tell them to read or show them that they might be interested in. Or just, you know, drop some like movie knowledge if they really like Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, all right, well, here's what you need to know about that. Bam. Stuff like that. Uh, it's easy. But all right, that is it, everybody. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, that's all the books. That's all the comments from this week. Be sure to watch next week for another new comic book day haul. There'll be a random haul up later this week. And also, I'm going to put up a review of 7 to Eternity uh, from last week's image. Uh, just because that was such a good book. Um, and it kind of put me on like a Rick Remender run. So let me know what you're reading. Uh, let me know what you're liking and what you're dropping in the comments. Things of that sort. And what is your favorite Rick Remender book? That's a good one. That's a good one. Next time we might ask Hickman. But right now, Rick Remender. What's your favorite Rick Remender book that you're reading or that you have read? All right. Everybody have a good week. And thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with some more videos.